When I retire from the police department, I work for a company, Roger Pond Associated Appraisers. It's the United States' largest personal property appraisal firm. But I also owned a UPS store for eight years while well, I was a policeman. So I kind of liked owning a business. Uh, so when I sold that after I retired in 07, then in 2017, I bought the Golden Leafs and then now expanding. I wanted to get somewhere close to 94 to catch the traffic from Chicago going to Michigan. This area, they say, is blowing up. Here, when you're developing, it's exciting, right? Everything's new, like I got to build this out. If I had put it in a place that was already existing, I'd have to tear down walls, I'd have to do this, I'd have to do that. Here, I got to pick everything I wanted to do. So that's why I chose this location, and um, I've got a full liquor license here in Chesterton. So it be a full bar here. Scotch, bourbon, cognacs, uh, whiskeys, those pair really well with cigars. And you could sit and smoke cigars and have your favorite scotch or bourbon or wine. Uh, we're gonna serve Big B coffee, so we can kind of co-work together. Um, I have these three purifier systems that should circulate the air to fresh, clean air, smoke-free and smell-free every 6.7 minutes. So you figure, Abiaco, you can't smoke there, even though the roof retracts. You can't smoke there. So people are gonna go eat dinner, maybe have a drink, and they're gonna go, I'd like to have a cigar. Oh, well, I can go here, I can have my drink and have a cigar. So that's kind of the void we're trying to fill. Cigar smokers are pretty interesting people. I've been all over the country, all over the world, because I travel a lot as well, and it doesn't matter what cigar store I go into, everyone takes you in like you've known each other because you have this common thread. It's pretty interesting. If you ever go into one, I don't know if you guys could smoke cigars, but it's pretty interesting. I don't see that in any other, any other business.